guys so I stopped here yesterday on the bike trailer and I was having some second thoughts I like the length I like the width I like the overall design uh, but what I don't like about this is the actual height of the box here so this is 24 inches from the bottom to the top and then once you put the bigger wheels on the 29 inch wheels it just seems a little too tall for me and I think it's aesthetically if I chopped off about eight inches off the top and then re-welded it, I think it would look a lot better. It just doesn't really need to be 24 inches tall. I mean, this is a pretty big, this is a pretty big trailer as it is. So it just seems too big to me. So I never love redoing things and taking things apart, um, but I think it's, it's well worth it for me to do it because then I'll be satisfied with it at the end. So the rest of the design, I like how the wheels are and like, the detail on this and I really love it and it's it's actually really well balanced too so like did a good job cutting and fabricating the entire thing but yeah I think we got to chop the top off lower it down and then we'll be good to go
All right, guys, that took me about 35 minutes to put together. Granted, I already put Hannah's bike together, so I kind of already know how it goes. But a lot of you guys know that I have a passion for cycling um, and for cycle touring, and I've ridden definitely a few bikes in my day, and this is, this is real nice. So we wanted bikes with big fat tires on it for sandy ground, rocky ground, um, and then also the e-bike is really nice because then we can pull the trailer and we don't have to drive vehicles around nearly as much. So this is a really cool bike. Um, it's just got one derailleur on the rear and the pedal assist, I've already played around with it on Hannah's bike, it is awesome. You can get up to 20 miles per hour pretty easily and I think it's got a range of about 40 miles per hour depending on how much pedal assist that you're using. Um, and then also the battery here, it can, be, it can be locked into place, it can be removed quite e easily. These have got some big old fat tires on it, so it takes a lot with the hand pump, so we'll just quickly fill these guys up and take it for a quick spin. Generally, I wouldn't fill up bike tires with a compressor, but it's a lot of pumping. So on your left thumb here, this adjusts your, uh, the top and bottom adjusts your pedal assist there, goes up to five. When you're on five, it's, it's really zooming. And then you can turn the lights on from here. Um, and then you can change, I think, the information and stuff that's on, on the screen here as well. And then you've got your rear derailleur on your right, and then your two brakes, and you are good to go. So once you start pedaling, the assist kicks on and it makes such a difference. work. These are awesome bikes. It's got everything on here, all the holes that you need uh, to install a rear rack, front rack. If you want to make your own trailer, buy a trailer, it'll work, uh, work pretty well with these bikes as well. How was that? It's great. It's great. I love it. It's freezing. Best bike ever. It is the best. Got this cool cart. Get all my 800 pounds of groceries in here. It's kind of big, but... It makes deep. such a difference with the pedal assist on the bike there to be able to pull this. It's uh, definitely a heavier trailer because it's all steel. It doesn't feel heavy when you pull it at all. No. It's got good rolling resistance. Yeah. All right, guys. Awesome. Built my wife a beach cart. She's ready excited. To, I'm ready to go to the beach. Where it's a little bit warmer. <laughs> All right, guys. Last look at the bike and the trailer set up here. So one thing I didn't really show, but if you have something in here that is longer than the trailer, I put little tabs at the bottom here and one at the top so that you can bungee whatever you need to. And I've got them on both sides. And then I just put tool tray liner on the bottom there because the paint's just gonna get all marked up, of course, over time. And then just as a nice little detail, it's kind of hard to see it because it's black on black, but I've got a nice little handyman emblem on there. And a few guys were asking on my Instagram if there was like a drain plug. So I purposely left a gap between the edge of the trailer here on both sides so that if there were, I mean, if I was gonna fill it up with water, I mean, it would drain out, but you know, not really gonna do that, but it's not gonna flood with water. Um, I've done a weight test with Hannah in the back. Uh, you know, she's over 100 pounds and we had no problems with the trailer here. And so you can just kind of see this, that ball and socket connection right there and just got the bracket there under the, uh, the rear axle. But um, if you want to check out these Aventon bikes, I've got a link in the description box and in the comment section um, if you want to check them out and also support the channel here. And these are great bikes. Got the little front rack there and I've got a little cooler on mine. So if you want some beverages, you can bring that along with you. We've got some small pannier bags on Hannah's there. And uh, sweet. Awesome guys. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.